Doesn't that seem yeah. weird? <laughs> Counterintuitive oh. to anybody? <laughs> it kind of is, but it's kind of <laughs> not. I mean, it's real popular. A lot of a lot of people would rather have that. Yeah. Than smooth, pretty. Well, is there anything? Like, is there is there any specific reason that somebody would want a rough out saddle? Yeah, because it's dirty and and all roughed up looking to begin with, and you don't have to wear the new off of it. Oh yeah. You know. So, like, a true cowboy is yeah, like, I don't want to... Yeah, I don't want to look like I got on a brand new pair of boots. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's so funny. That just needs to be already broken in. Yeah. I don't want to look well, like a novice. Yeah, and plus, it's just, they're rough and tough, you know, and so is the rough out. All it's right. Rough and tough. But I don't know. It, and it has a neat look to it. Mm-hmm. It does. So, uh, yeah, a lot of people like it. We're going to use it. We are going to use it. Denny is going to, what are you going to make today? I'm going to make a belt and attempt to get a, a small, nice uh, yeah, a, a horizontal carry folding knife sheet. Okay. And then cool. I have sized down, or <laughs> by I, I mean Tony, and Nick also helped, um, size down our basket pattern. The We had the like the shopper basket or the whatever you want to call it with the, the little key holded thing. So I'm going to make a candle holder out of a piece of rough out, and I'm going to use a good old, mm, how many ever, 500 gram bottle of tokenol as my molding base, because this is about the size of a candle. 500 grams. 500 wow. grams. People that measure like that dumbfound me. <laughs> you know, it's actually a lot easier than doing things like, what is an ounce, and then... You've got like 24 ounces in a pound. Like, it's just weird number. 16. Oh, 16 ounces in a pound. And then you have to, I don't know. That's a and very strange number pints, to multiply by. Pints and quarts. Yeah, and what does that even a mean? A pint is a pound the world around. Okay. There's four pints in a quart. Two pints in a quart, which would be two pounds. But doesn't four it quarts depend in a on a gallon, which would be eight pounds. Look at Denny mapping for us this morning with our good old English That's as far as I go. That's all he's got. (laughs) All righty. Well, we're going to get started so that we can get done eventually. All right. Uh, Let's see here. Yeah, when I started, I don't know what's wrong with YouTube. It wouldn't go live. Facebook won't go live. Without holds you in place better. Yeah, a lot of people like that. They say it gives them a little grip in the saddle. Yeah. Look. Little grip and saddle. Okay. Not slick. What okay. we've got here is a full side split. That's correct. Off, off of a piece of uh, tooling leather. And it, uh, uh, have we got a gauge here? Sure I do. think it's probably a 10 or 12 ounce. This is in the middle of the back. Eight to nine. Seven. Nine. Nine. Okay. Mm-hmm. That'll be perfect because I'm going to make a two ply belt. And I'm going to use this back for the top. And I'm going to. What I've done with this side already, you guys, just so we can handle it here in the video, is I've cut the shoulder off and I've cut the, the strip of the belly off. Really I narrow belly. Yeah, I didn't. Well, I didn't cut the whole belly. I just straightened it off. Yeah. Because I'm going to cut the the liner for this belt off the belly side, which is a little bit lighter. Okay. Cool. So anyway. And then I'm going to use this for my bowl. Okay. So I'm going to cut an inch and a half strip off of this right now. And we'll get that out of the way. I'll get out of the way too. And I'm just going to use a strap cutter here to set it at one and a half, which would equal an inch and a half. Am I right? I think so. I think that's how that works. Right. <laughs> Ooh, a little bright. Would you look at it? Okay, and this is the butt end down here. So, th- so when you guys are making a belt, and I don't know, you might already know this, but you want to use the butt end for the billet end of your, of your belt. I That's didn't bring the anything to write with. No, the billet end. Oh, the adjustment. Yes. Okay. The end with the holes in it, because that's the end that always wears out. And, and it gets floppy. And it gets floppy. Because you yeah. use it. Yes, yeah, you use it all the time. That's where all the pressure is. Okay, so I'm going to turn this around now. 
and I'm going to cut a strip about, I think I'll make this two inches wide because it's going to be the liner. Oh, yeah. I sure do. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you for having that. <laughs> Any idea of the cost to buy a 10 ounce split side? Uh, Michael, that's going to be really hard to do. In fact, I probably won't guarantee that you would ever be able to get a 10 ounce split. It's hard for the, the splitting machine to take off 10 ounces at a time for you to get a 10 ounce split. Well, now, and, you and might have sections of it. Yeah, there, there's parts of this that are pretty heavy and parts that are a little bit lighter. Yeah. But that's why they measure leather in, in two different ounces, like you'll get a 10 to 12 ounce side because it'll vary. The machine can't split perfectly. Yeah, yeah. So a 10 ounce would be difficult. We do sell our Herman Oak like split sides just like Denny has here. Um, so that is a, a number and I think they're like 25, 30 bucks or something along those lines on the website. So you can buy one. Um, we don't really take ounce requests. We will try to get you, if you're looking for a heavy one, we will try to pull a heavier one if we've got it. Um, but that is... This is Tony. It's just what we can split and on it. Like taking off 10 ounces is not, it doesn't make the machine real happy. Yeah, just request the heavy side if that's and, what you want. Yeah, and we'll get the heaviest that we can. But we're not going to guarantee that you're going to get a specific weight. All right, now I didn't bring in... An in punch, so I'm just I have contacts, Dean. They're in my eyes. They're there. I just, this is still very small and far away. You try to read things four foot away from you in tiny white writing. And then you see if you squint. Dean. Yes, Tony. I'm reading these a minute. Okay. I'm just reading this a minute. It's the second time that this particular call has come in in the middle of a video, and usually they are very good about, hey, would you like to have a call at this time or this time instead of just calling? Mm. Oh, I'm so sorry. I did not hear the rest of the comment. I didn't hang up on you. <laughs> You're finding. That's I'm going to give you a hard time, though. What did you forget? Would you mind going out? And give me an oblong punch, yes. about a one inch oblong punch. Hey, Denny, while he's doing piece. that, you want to cut me a circle? I certainly will. I know you're you're probably so good at that with your head knife. Can't well, wait to watch it. I don't know it. about that. <laughs> Is this where you want it? Yep. And you want this circle here? I sure do. Not any of the other ones. Okay, so let me mark it. <laughs> okay. Do we have a pencil? Probably not. Oh, that's a good answer. Well, not the one I was looking for. We used to have them, but I don't know what happened to it. We probably used them when we brought them all in here, and then as Jenny works, he takes them back to his. Yeah, yeah, but you could use this pen, maybe. Yeah, I'll use that. That's fine. Um, is somebody. Are we out of quick shine? Is that what's happening, guys? Are we out? Yeah, yeah. we have been out for quite some time. What's the back ordered online? Okay. Quick shine says back ordered online? I, I have a message to call you, Michael. Yeah. I'm sure we have it on order because few beans might be a little behind. I don't know. Handle it on the table without the side of leather in my way. Oh, you know what I didn't get is water. Yeah, I need some This is a tough side. It will wear well. This is going to hate it. 
I won't tell her. She'll find out on her own. Everybody tries watching on Facebook, tell them it's not there. <laughs> Found any any water bucket where Rose likes to drink from. <laughs> okay. Did you did you have all the conversations? Was it riveting? Yes, I I told people you were gonna hate that piece of leather because it was really bad. Oh good times. I'm super excited. I'm gonna need that though. Thanks. I'm super excited. Alright, I'm getting a buckle town slot here. I'm doing it about two and a half, three inches from the end. And I'm not being real specific on the size of this belt, because I'm not making it for anyone in particular. Oh, good call, Dean. Thanks. You are correct. Master's quick shot. Okay. Now then, with this bend, I don't want it two ply sticks. So I'll make myself mark. And by the way, I'm using the grain side of this leather as the finished side. It's a little bit rougher looking than the other side, but when I get done with it, I, I like the saddle so I can slick it all down. And I think the grain side, or the flesh side, makes it a little prettier. Finished. Well, since we're in here doing this, and we're doing we're doing rough out. What can you do with rough out to to fancy it up? I'll show you. Okay. I'll show you. I'm gonna. gonna show I'm gonna us. saddle soak it. Okay. And you can use token all. You can use gum trag trag uh, anything just to slick it down. But it's always you know it's rough out. Mm -hmm. That's what it's gonna remain. You can tool it. Yes, you, you can. can tool if, it. if you dyed it, Denny, how would you go about finishing it? Same way you would any other leather. Quick try. Uh, if you dye it, I would suggest dyeing it with a, an airbrush. Mm, yeah. Because it is the the split side or the flex side of the leather is very very porous. And it will just suck up and die like nobody does. Yeah, it is. What do you need? Nothing, I'm just reading. Tony, I think, is even going to try to make something today. Wow. So much faith. Tony is even going to try. He's going to try. Mama tried. <laughs> Have we listened to that song recently? It's, it's pretty in my well, head. Well, sing it for us. I feel like it's been... I feel like it's been uh, played a few times on the radio. Yeah, this is going to be fun. You didn't have a brain exact on that, did you? Yeah. No. Uh, well, we'll no, see if, if Andy or Ryan are listening and they want to bring in one of their exacto knives. I'm not going to say no, but I won't go get it either. I'll be able to get. I can go back to go back. We're wet that now. Well, that'll ruin the paper. Yeah. We're just gonna struggle. I probably should have started this earlier, but I'm busy. 
busy filling my live shopping orders and tending to my emails. <laughs> I told everybody it was going to so firm. But it's going to mold really well and yeah. it's going to be a sweet candle holder. It will be very durable and have a lot of fun. What? Yeah, Andy or Ryan should have right one handy. On the wall right behind my bed, there's a row of knives. There's a black handled exacto knife there. Alright. If I can have Denny cut my circle, I'm going to What else can we say about rough out leather, Denny, while we're over here working? It's uh, rough out. You use a, lose a little bit of the tensile strength when they when they uh, split the rough out. What we're using today, because it because it is a split leather, and you lose the durability of that top grain. But it is especially the heavier weight. You know, it is still very durable. When you get into a real lightweight, it might not have as much tension strength. But uh, rough out. There was a guy that was talking to me yesterday about a saddle. He said, "I would like a rough out saddle." But he said, "I've heard they'll wear out. They don't wear as well." Mm -hmm. But the first saddle maker that I worked for told me a story about rough out. Okay. He said there were two brothers, and they were both cowboys, and they both. Finally decided they were going to buy themselves a brand new saddle, handmade saddle. Mm -hmm. One of them got a full, fully tooled, flower tooled saddle. The other one said, I just want a rough out saddle. Okay. And he said, 20 years later, when those two old cowboys got old and gray, he said, the rough out saddle finally wore out. And he said, and two days later, that fully tooled saddle finally wore out. So, they had the, it was the same. Yeah, they were about the same. I mean, and especially when it comes to the saddle, they're still using a grained leather. Like there is still the grain yeah. on on the inside. It's yeah. just not on the outside. And so, I mean, really, longevity of leather products comes down to your care. That's right. Like you can buy something, put it in a closet next to your bathroom, and it'll be moldy in a month. <laughs> I'm blind. I Thank you. Blind. You're good. <laughs> um, but you know, if you if you maintain your items properly, they will last yeah. a lifetime. Yeah. You just can't. You just can't neglect them. Now you're going flush side to a split side. Yeah, and it really doesn't matter. I just thought I would have the. The split side on the inside of this since it is smoother. On yeah. But it really wouldn't matter. Yeah, when you split it, it kind of catches your jeans a little bit. Yeah. But I'm going to saddle soap it, and it won't be nearly as rough as what you think. How much stock do you have in saddle soap? How much stock? Yeah, not enough. Not. I, when no. I was a young man, I wish I would have bought some stock in saddle soap. Yeah, you have to pay yourself back a little saddle yeah. soap. I would have plugged it even more than I do now. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to put a stitch groove on this. Does anybody know how long saddle soap's been around? Like when when it was first made? I don't know. I guess Phoebe's is a pretty old brand. It, yeah. They've been around for quite a while. It is pretty old. Oh. Oh. Denny's a spry young thing. What are you talking about? Oh, just a puff. Just a puff. I don't know what am I saying. He, he can walk around better than I can. So. How strong would you expect the thinner split to be? Good enough for a tote bag without the grain on it. Sure. Yeah. Sure. I mean, I probably wouldn't do like a two to three ounce, but if you had a five to six ounce split that you were working with, then I would say that would be totally fine for a tote bag. Yeah. 
And really, like, each piece of split is going to be different. So you're going to have to, like, when you buy your splits, you're going to have to analyze, like, okay, like, is some of the section of the hide really thin? Is the, the, the specific grain on this piece a little bit loose and more prone to tear? Um, so, like, there's always going to be those things, like, when you actually have a split side that you're going to have to, like, figure out on your own. It's- it's just like it's the same as if you had a full grain side. The higher up on the back of the side that you are, the more firm and durable the leather is going to be. The lower down towards the belly, you, you get the the uh, looser the grain is going to be mm-hmm. and the less durable. Eighteen ninety five. Wow, him and Herman Oak were really, because I think Herman Oak is 1881. Oh, wow. I'm pretty sure that, that's that's So, maybe. Can't wait till Sprinkle Leather is 100 years old. That'd be super cool. I won't be here for that, but it will be cool when it happens. Hopefully it will happen. Ooh, fun. Do this beautiful little head knife right here. Got over just in time to steal that belt one from me. You cut a nice big old groove in that, too. Yeah. It was the first time that we created Saddle Soap. Hey. I think I don't go yet, Denny. Okay. This is nerve wracking. Yeah. Now you can go. I can? Okay. Uh, here I go. You're clear for takeoff. I'm not using it. I'm just going to be winning it. Denny's a winger. Denny invented saddle soap. <laughs> hey, we've got somebody in from Peru. That's amazing. Does one buff it like one does when shining dress shoes? When doing what? You know, when you shine your shoes. Do you buff your you can? your splits when like you, you shine your shoes? When I saddle soap, it, it, it will lay the nap down on there. And it will get fairly shiny. It won't get as slick as a piece of top grain. You all will see. something, and I said, hey, it was like 10.30. I was like, hey, can you get that machine set up for, for Denny? Or what he needed for the video. Everybody knows what time the video is, guys. Staying in that line real good. When you make a stitch through, it's easier to stitch a straight line. You know that? 
I can imagine that it helps. I don't, I don't normally do a lot of grooming, and I feel like I, I should maybe start and do more, but that has not been a practice that I typically do. Man, I was watching this leather crafter that I, I really love to, to look at his stuff. He was teaching a class, I guess. He's down in Australia, and he makes knife sheets uh -huh. and um, Carswell leather. And he was doing a class, and he posted some pictures on Instagram in the last couple of days. And he was, so it was a knife sheath class, an advanced class. And um, she had made a, a big old sheath for a buoy knife. And so they oversize all of their parts, and then they cut the welt after it's all assembled down oh. to exact. And they probably cut off like a quarter of an inch plus leather on the side. And he had a head knife bigger than I have ever seen before that he used to cut it. That thing must have been this tall that he used to cut the the welt with. That was just incredible. <laughs> that thing scared me to death. I would have definitely cut my face on it like trying to do this <laughs> move. On it. On so close. Yeah. <laughs> it scares me. I think he was more back here pushing it, but it was impressive, to say the least. Okay, now I'm Close to a quarter of an inch on each side here that I'm trimming off. The more you leave, the easier it is to trim, mm -hmm. but also the more wasteful it is. Sometimes just having a good trim job is worth it. Yeah. The better you trim, the less you have to edge. I'm going to try and do this without any edge button. Ooh, gonna go you're just going to saddle soap the whole thing? Yeah, I'm just going to bevel the edge. No, I'm going to burnish it just like I would on a regular top frame. What are you doing? Waiting. Go for it. <laughs> You really, you really need a grant slab under there, guys. We're just gonna, we're, there it is. Nice job. All right, here, I'll, I'll, I'll black this. Okay, now I'm gonna bevel the edge of this. And I'm gonna Pony is very determined to have a project today. <laughs> I'm gonna use number three Western. This is good in. After I get this bevel, I'm going to gauge you to see what I ended up with. Daddy, you even did a fancy tip. Yeah, because I forgot to bring in a... <laughs> An in punch. Yeah. I've got, got 14 there. About 15 there. About 13 here. So 13 to 15 ounce is what I ended up with. That's a decent And you get all your work done. Yeah. Not all black. Wish I could say that about my bamboo. <laughs> <laughs> I gave up on the bamboo. I'm just letting it grow. You're going to regret that decision in about three years. 
Or maybe just dig a trench to where you don't want it to go past and then pour concrete and then it'll be contained to the spot that you're okay for it okay. growing That's into. You should do that. Trenches. Trenches. And then come to my house with it. <laughs> okay. Something. What do you use to make your patterns if you want to reuse them again? What do you use them for? Montex makes some great patterns. Mm-hmm. I heavy heavy brown wrapping paper makes a good pattern too. <laughs> he loves to use Hermit Oak wrapping paper. I do because they're heavy. They've got a lot of body to them, and they I've got some that I've had for thirty years that I made out of Hermit Oak wrapping paper. Yeah, Hermit Oak wrapping paper is multi-purpose. Wow, that's a really. Hey, you want to do that? Maybe somewhere we can see. You. I don't know if you can. We can. We can see you there. That's. Can you see me now? Kind of. <laughs> Just, I don't know, can you zoom out a little bit? Or over? No, you're good. You stay. You just you stay. We'll come stay. to you. You don't do any zoom as any. <laughs> right. This is just glycerin and saddle. So that was just water on a sponge that I put on this. And I'm just going to rub a little of this glycerin and saddle soap on it. How many different forms of saddle soap will you be using today? Uh, paste saddle soap and glycerin saddle soap. They make the glycerin saddle soap in a liquid also that this is just tomorrow. Yeah, in a spray bottle. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's good to, to clean equipment with. Yeah. But it doesn't work real good to burnish. I'm just putting this on the very edge. And the saddle soap has a lot to do with the burnish, but the main thing is the water and the friction that you create with a piece of canvas or whatever. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If your projects are small, those are also good ways to reuse, reduce some waste. I don't know if you all can see right. that edge. Up, up and away, Denny. There you go. See that edge? A nice, Look, shiny, yeah. slick edge. I even like it already. That rough yeah. looks good. Yeah. Turn it. Yeah. How much is a split? How much is a split side of this? They're like twenty-five or thirty-five bucks, somewhere in there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then mm-hmm. even if you got a thinner one, like I mean, if if you get you know a, well, a side here. that's like five to six ounce. I got I got four inch rounders here, and I need a little bit more bite, so I think I'm going to end up gluing three together. Yeah. So you make a two ply belt. You know, half the time when you're, if you're buying belt strips or even cutting a belt bin, you've got 160 bucks in a belt bin, and then you're going to do two ply if you want finished on both sides. So you're doubling your money and your leather. But you know, you buy a thirty dollar split side of Hermit Oak, and number one, you could line belts and do a two ply belt. You just won't have a finished back. But if you need the the structural durability, if you're wanting to make a heavier weight work belt, then that's a really good way to get a two ply. You know, without using grain leather and still having the structural stability. Um, of a veg tan at a fraction of the price. Yeah. That's that's really the main beauty of these full size splits is the price because you can do hundreds of things with it. Even if you went and you did uh, an economy plus for your outside. Embrace then, embrace the imperfections in leather. The character. Embrace the character of the leather. That's right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And unicorn. 